now that you know the nature of the algorithm, let's take a look at the code necessary to convert the original image to the image that you see on the bottom right of your screen. The source code at the top right of your screen shows the algorithm in its entirety. When we apply this algorithm to the original image, it will produce an image that looks like the image on the bottom right. In particular, the code in listing 4 on the upper right sets the blue color value to 0 for every pixel and inverts the red and green color components for every pixel in the picture. There are several ways to write the code to accomplish this purpose and the code in listing 4 is only one of those ways. Barbara Erickson in her class library basically provides two different ways to deal with the colors of the pixels in an image. One way is to deal with each pixel in terms of its horizontal coordinate and its vertical coordinate. We won't use that approach in this lecture because we don't need to differentiate between pixels on the basis of their coordinate values. The other approach that she provides is the approach that we will use and this is the easiest approach when you need to do exactly the same thing to every pixel. This approach makes use of the method named getPixels. The getPixels method is defined in the simple picture class and is inherited into the picture class. Therefore, our picture objects contain the method named getPixels. As mentioned before, this approach is very useful when you want to perform the same action on every pixel in an image. The advantage of using this approach is that you don't have to worry about the horizontal and vertical coordinates of each pixel with this approach. Access to all of the pixels is provided in a one-dimensional array. The documentation for the method name get pixels is shown in figure 5 on the right hand side of your screen. According to Erickson, this is a method to get a one-dimensional array of pixels for this simple picture. It returns a one-dimensional array of pixel objects starting with y equals 0 to y equals height minus 1 and x equals 0 to x equals width minus 1. So just what is a pixel object? Before I attempt to answer that question, let me back up a bit and pose another question. What is a pixel? The word pixel, spelled P-I-X-E-L, is an abbreviation for the term picture element. 
in the digital world, an image consists of a large number of small colored dots ordered on a horizontal ordered on a grid of lines of horizontal and vertical dots. Each such dot is a particular color and it is this array of colored dots that produces the optical illusion that we humans refer to as digital images. In the processing of digital images, each pixel can be considered as being comprised of four values. Those four values are the strengths, if you will, or the relative strengths of the three primary colors, red, green, and blue, and a fourth value which is often referred to as the alpha value that has to do with transparency. In this lecture we won't get into transparency, but we will be concerned with the red, green, and blue values associated with each colored dot or each pixel. Now back to the original question. What is a pixel object? An object of Erickson's pixel class represents the or manages the red, green, and blue color values as well as the alpha values for an individual colored dot in an image. The documentation for the pixel class is shown on the right hand side of your screen. According to Erickson, this is a class that refer references a pixel in a picture. A pixel has an X and Y location in a picture. A, picture know, a pixel knows how to get and set the red, green, blue, and alpha values in the picture. A pixel also knows how to get and set the color using a color object. Color with an uppercase C is the name of a class in the standard Sun Java library. And basically, Erickson is telling us here that an object of the pixel class can manage the color of a pixel either in terms of its red, green, blue, and alpha values or in terms of its overall color which is described using an object of the color class. The pixel class defines a relatively large number of methods. Once you have a reference to a pixel object, you can manipulate the underlying pixel encapsulated in that object in a variety of different ways.